why people are no longer relying on the health care system to find out if something is seriously wrong. People are frustrated with today's health care system from being misdiagnosed to not finding out that they have major health issues until it's too late. Well, now there is a new trend happening in Tampa Bay. People are taking their health into their own hands at Lifeguard Imaging, and we are hearing incredible life-saving stories every day. Not everyone in the country has access to this, so I decided to see how this innovative scan works for myself. Take a look. Frankie Maldonado, the Chief of Operations at Lifeguard Imaging. And Frankie, first of all, what an incredible facility this is. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're pretty happy with how things are. What is Lifeguard Imaging? Well, we are a facility that is dealing with uh, preventative scanning. So what we're doing is we're talking to patients who have proactive health in their forefront of their mind. And essentially, we're trying to scan them for early detection of heart disease and hundreds of different cancers before there's a symptomatic condition. The tragedy of those deadly diseases that are taking millions of lives a year is simply that when you get that first symptom, it's generally a heart attack that you're experiencing or you have people that are discovering that they have a late stage cancer. So everything we do is preemptive to the symptoms and because of the scans we're performing, lives are being saved literally every day. And I know that this is really personal to you. Talk to me about the motivation yeah. of starting and launching Lifeguard Imaging. My, uh, my, my partner, myself, he knew my father as well, but my father tragically lost his life to pancreatic cancer, which I understand is how you yeah. lost your father. Horrible disease. Uh, in fact, he's on the wall and the motivation behind lifeguard imaging. My father was a very prominent surgeon in the Maryland, D.C. area and had the knowledge to recognize that something didn't feel right in his stomach in January of 1998. Went to his hospital where he was chief of staff and told them to take some images to see what was going on and they sliced through with a CT scanner, not too different from ours, but the traditional scanners take very thick slices, so gaps can be created. And tragically, when they came out and told him he was fine, one of the gaps I'm speaking of was on the backside tail of his pancreas, and they never saw it, and that's where the head of the cancer was. Ten months later, on November 3rd, my father was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, and tragically, he lost his life on December 18th, six weeks and a few days after. It was horrible. I personally know how you feel, and I'm so sorry for your loss. Yeah. And to watch your hero, the person that you love, you know, go like that is so very difficult. And what makes your scan different from others is that it does pinpoint. Like, if somebody had pancreatic cancer, you could catch it pre-stage one. That's the thing, and it's actually occurred at another facility that does exactly what we do, where I was running the operation for almost four years. Our scan is so fast, it's so rapidly fast, that it eliminates every gap that's created with the traditional scanners that when we pull the images off of the technology, we actually can create a three-dimensional view of the internal organs. And because of that, they're seeing every possible side, every possible internal portion of the organ, and they're capturing things in the early stages. We've actually captured pancreatic cancer in a precancerous state, and a woman had a procedure and it saved her life. And that's, nobody's doing that. It's pretty remarkable. And it scans more than just for cancers. I mean, you've detected heart disease. I mean, this is a lifesaver that scans from the neck down. That's right. And tell me all the things that you can catch or highlights of yeah. it. Yeah, well, the scan exactly as you say goes from the shoulders to the base of the pelvis. One of the biggest things and the number one killer, as everybody knows, is heart disease. Uh, cardiovascular disease takes more lives every year than the top four cancers combined. So we have a scan that literally goes from the shoulders to the base of the pelvis, focuses initially on the chest, the abdomen region, and the pelvis. So besides scanning just the heart for heart disease, we're looking at the liver, the pancreas, the spleen, the gallbladder, the bladder, the bowels, internal organs within the torso, and finding hundreds of different cancers. And for that reason, the scans are intended on doing this, again, 100% preemptive to symptomatic conditions. And the most important thing for the patient is just having that desire to say, I want to know about it before I have a symptom. And again, because of that, lives are being saved. Catching something early means that you can go in for treatment earlier, which is key. That is the biggest key, because unfortunately, when the first symptoms happen, as we said, it's usually a heart attack, and now the procedures have to be performed to correct the issue. And if it's cancer, the first symptom is usually a late-stage diagnosis, which I think we both experienced with our fathers. 
So everything we're doing is trying to be for the people again who have that thought, I want to know beforehand because the earlier we capture the disease, the better the chances of treating it and obviously surviving it. So for a patient that's getting a scan from us, we're going to get that first scan, it's a baseline, looking at everything that could be going on in detail and then progressing after that, year after year we're monitoring, has anything changed? We're looking for shifts in certain shadows that might have occurred or that we've captured and because of that we're monitoring year to year because things will change as we get older. We get more susceptible and the immunity systems drop. Now is lifeguard imaging covered by insurance? That, that is the only problem. It is not. Uh, I, I don't want to get into any health care uh, issues, but tragically or unfortunately, health care is in a design of being reactionary. And we're told, go see our doctors when we have a symptomatic condition, and they treat the symptom. And this is exactly what we're anti-symptom. We're trying to do it before there's a symptom. We're hoping to change that, and we're hoping to be able to contact some of these organizations to say, look at the valuable evidence of what we're doing and the lives we're saving and we hope that someday we could be a part of that, maybe changing it so it would be a part of healthcare. I think most people realize that getting sick is expensive between the out-of-pocket cost, the co-payment. If you know early, you can save money, but most importantly, you save lives. A absolutely correct, and we know there's no price to be put on the value of a life, but it truly is an expensive thing if you've had a heart attack, if you've had a cancer, not only the price of the actual procedures, the surgeries that are performed, but the medications that need to be prescribed ongoing, and then of course the lost wages because you can't work and the devastation to the family. Ultimately, that's an ancillary benefit. The most important thing is we're going to be saving lives, but it is a great side note to think that you can save potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars from these deadly diseases. Well, I'm super excited to learn more about lifeguard imaging. We are so happy to have you here, Gail. Yeah, this is amazing technology. After I saw it firsthand, my husband and I got our scans too, and now it's your chance. Call right now, 813-524-1010, or visit lifeguardimaging.com to receive a Bloom special offer, a complimentary coronary artery scan when you mention Gale and Bloom. That's a $599 value, absolutely free. So call now, 813-524-1010, for this special offer. And we'll be back with more Bloom right after this, so don't go away. The preceding portion of Bloom was sponsored by Lifeguard Imaging.